Hi guys, uh, my name is uh, Ophir Aharon and uh, I have uh, a PhD in Electro-Optics. Uh, this is my website uh, www.bonavin.com um, I have a solution for uh, presenting uh, the data uh, from G-Solver. G-Solver is a program uh, to solve uh, the orders uh, from uh, uh, gradings, transmission orders, and reflection orders. Just to show you the program. So this is the program. Here you can build the grading, and then finally you can um, um, see the results here. Here it's going to be a really huge matrix if you use uh, multiple. Uh, parameters you can change wavelength, theta, phi, uh, alpha, beta, and the depth of the grading, as well as uh, building the grading itself. The only problem here is that the G solver uh, does not uh, present uh, um, a, a multiple dimension data. So if I want to uh, to see um, how the data, how the efficiency of the orders. Um, uh, are in, uh, for example, uh, theta and phi and, uh, and, and uh, grading depth and so on. Um, it, it's, not, it's not possible to do it uh, only by looking at the graph uh, through the G solver. So uh, I build a program which uh, I'm selling it now. I'll show you. The program reads the matrix. So if we, if I ha if I run the the the, the G solver just for two parameters, I'm choosing some wavelengths, some depth, and so on, and I want to see the efficiency uh, orders um, um, versus theta and phi. So my program um, realized that there is only two parameters. I mark them and then. I asked the program to build uh, the matrix or the data. Uh, automatically, of course, the bottoms here are added according the uh, orders. Now I can see uh, the orders. I can rotate the graphs and so on. I can change um, uh, the way I want to present the graph. And this is the only way we can understand multiple parameters. Now I'll show you, um, I'll press reset, I'll show you um, a, a different kind of uh, uh, grading, for example, something like, uh, let's say, four parameters. So I scan in G-Solver for uh, four parameters. I'll change the name of the file and press F5. So here it is. This is the four parameters I choose to run. It's the, the lambda, theta, phi, and the grading depth. For example, I would like to present the data um, lambda versus uh, theta. I choose the bottoms. Of course, automatically the program realize the uh, number of uh, orders. I execute the program and you see the other bars here disappear because it's not relevant. There is only uh, one, parameter, one parameter here, <coughs> so no parameter to scan. And uh, <coughs> um, now the graphs, we'll see the graphs according um, uh, according the um, uh, the orders, now here uh, this uh, axis is lambda and this axis is, is theta. Uh, we see straight uh, surface because I need to choose the depth. So the depth now is uh, 0 0.5, and now I can change I can change phi and see what it does to the graphs. It's very important in looking for uh, uh, data for unique uh, conditions. For example, uh, I use it for head-up displays to to um, to construct a head-up display for airplanes or aircrafts. 
uh, using um, uh, gradings. So it's an ongoing research, but it's a wonderful tool, and, and it is the only tool to to use uh, G Solver to understand multiple parameters. Uh, let's do another example. Let's press reset, and now I want to present the graph theta versus phi. So this is the angles, uh, the impinging angles to the gradings. Now I build again the data, and now we can see. Now we can see the uh, the data according theta or versus theta and phi. This is theta. This is phi. This is phi. This is theta. This is the uh, uh, reflection orders, and this is the, the transmission orders. Here you can see really beautiful um, how the data looks like. Now if I change the lambda or I can change the depth, you see the graphs uh, shows uh, like it's like uh, taking two um, uh, dimensions and, pre and present it and by moving the other parameters it's like we're uh, browsing uh, the different dimensions so let's do one uh, one example but one more example but before that i would like to uh, to emphasize that this matrix always uh, sum all values of the orders and it it's supposed to to be kept in one sometimes there is singularity and uh, you will see here holes, but it's okay. The rigorous uh, coupled wave analysis sometimes uh, um, have a kind of singularity, and in this program you can see it uh, really beautiful. Uh, one more example. I will open a file with the um, six dimensions, so. Uh, I um, um, built some grading uh, in G Solver. I'm not going to do it here because it, it takes like uh, like the whole night. And um, so the program here um, uh, diagnosed that realized that there is six parameters: lambda, theta, phi, alpha, beta, and t depth. So now I can choose, for example, if, if, if I would like to see the efficiencies according the uh, impinging angle, so naturally I will choose theta and phi, and ask the program to build, um, to build the, the matrix again, so the, the surfaces of the uh, orders. So now we'll see, um, for example, um, or order um, uh, one one t, and uh, we see that there there is no there is no uh, high values. The values are very low. So see here the depth is zero here. So I'll give it a high, and uh, I'll choose some elasticity of the of the impinged uh, um, uh, field. And I can play also with, with lambda. So here it's 0 0.3 microns and 0 0.6 microns. That's, that's the vector I choose. Anyway, of course, you can, you can run the program with the much, uh, um, with multiple parameters. So, so here you see how the depth changed the efficiency very, very radic radically. So uh, let's try another one, and uh, I'll finish here. For example, I, I'll take uh, phi and uh, let's say uh, uh, theta and run the program. So you see, when I choose the two uh, parameters I want uh, to present the graph, the um, the bars here uh, are disappeared because they are not relevant now. And as well as the bars here, because it's not relevant, uh, since uh, it has only one one uh, value, and the other has multiple values. So I, now I can play with it. Uh, 
Okay, so this program I'm selling five thousand uh, dollar. It's very useful. It helps us uh, um, to, to design a head-up uh, displays. Uh, it has higher value because this is the only way to understand multiple parameters through G Solver. So uh, to buy the program or to buy the code, um, I'm selling it uh, at uh, five thousand dollars. You can contact me by phone, Skype, or email. Thank you.